Hillary Clinton stopped by Jimmy Fallon the other, the other night with a message for Americans who aren't thrilled about either major, uh, major party presidential candidate this election. Take a look. What do, you, what do you say to voters who are upset that those are the two choices? Get over yourself. Those are the two choices. Yeah, yeah. love that. Right? And, yeah, and good. you know, it's kind of like one is old and effective and compassionate, yeah. has a heart and really cares about people. And one is old and has been charged with 91 felonies. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, um, okay, interesting. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand why this is even a hard choice. <laughs> but not. yesterday's Wisconsin primary had more than 47,000 protest votes. So is there still a lot of campaigning left to do? Yep. Um, she said the quiet part out loud. I don't necessarily disagree with what she said, but uh, get over yourself 2024 is not a great campaign slogan. She's you can't really put running. that on she's a not She's not running. Yeah. No, but I'm, I'm saying she's a surrogate. for. I think she's supporting Biden. Oh, she yeah. wants to reach out to his voters. Um, here's the thing. Based on Michigan and Wisconsin results, we know that the protest vote, the sort of ceasefire kind of votes in mm -hmm. Michigan, were more than the margin of victory that Joe Biden won Michigan in 2020. So these, this is very real. And I think that you have a right. I believe a protest vote is part of democracy. Mm -hmm. I think that it's a good way to make your voice heard. Mm -hmm. But I would say to these folks, and these are Democrats, I'm a Republican, take it or leave it. But as an Arab American, you really think that Donald Trump would handle Gaza better no. than Joe Biden. If he thought it was politically advantageous, he would level Gaza without a second thought. And I think, unfortunately, we live in a binary world. I'm conflicted right now because I didn't like either options. But you have to think, what are the long-term repercussions for what matters most to you? And I think it would be a mistake for these folks to sit it out because it's not in their interest. Well, people need to understand, he negotiated the Abraham Accords and he moved the United States Embassy to Jerusalem. So he is the most pro-Israel president running right now, more than Biden. So these people on the left who are protesting that, they should at least know that, which is what you're saying, and I'm just reiterating yeah. it. Yes. I, and I actually just want to correct, it's approaching Biden's margin of mm -hmm. victory in Michigan. Yes. It's 100,000 votes. Well, but, go ahead. I was going to also say that, Hillary, what she's trying to say, I think, is, come on, there is no issue here about who to vote for. Let me count the ways. Trump openly said he wants to act as a dictator. It's worth repeating, just yes, to remind ahead, people, on day ahead. one. He calls immigrants animals and not human. I'm assuming that he does not mean immigrants from Norway or Scandinavia. Where's his or Slovakia. From? Or Slovakia. He, you know where he's talking about. Slovenia. It's pure racism. He wants to take us out of NATO, which would destabilize the world order. It really would. It'd be, but that'd be good for him. Be good for him? Yeah. How? I mean, I'm... Because he... In his mind, his he thinks, he tendency. actually thinks that the, the, the monsters in the world, the dictators in the world yeah. are going to surround him with love. Oh, yeah. And give him money. Yeah, this is what he believes. I believe. So this he, is what he praises believes. dictators like yes, Putin I remember. and Kim Jong. Um, by the way, if he ever was president, he would, he would hand Ukraine over to Putin, in my opinion. Well, that's what and he every, said. And the rest of all the previous uh, Soviet Union uh, countries. He called, this is really one of the worst things that he's done. And I, it breaks my heart because my family fought in World War II. My yeah. father, more my uncle. Looking at Henry Clinton, that Henry Clinton was um, trying to talk to Voda. She went to this um, show. According to her, the two presidents, we all know, election is coming November 2024, and um, President Donald Trump and President Biden. According to both of them, are old. Um, according to Henry Clinton, one is very um, nice and compassionate, and the other one is very um it's not nice at all the other one is um problematic the other one have 91 cases in court um so that's mean trouble according to Hillary clinton coming back with the women on the view they all have their different opinion they all think that Hillary clinton is doing so good so far since she stopped like want to campaign for herself she started supporting Biden. she's doing a perfect job because Hillary clinton was telling the voters that you don't even need to who to choose. Why are they confused who to choose? You already know the better person. The better person is a nice person. According to the women in the view, um, you see something like Jobia, Jobia went ahead and she was very furious. According to her, President Donald Trump has um 
not the very um president donald trump is not being someone to be choose according to jbea president donald trump is somebody who um the military people is against them and, and his husband is ex she say her ex-husband and her former husband both of them the military the lead that was in the military so that's it something not to even talk about president um donald trump is not nice at all he's the one that i'm not been really treating um because um foreigners that they are good they are animals so they were trying to say that hope his wife is not one of that foreigner because the wife is a foreigner and they hope that the country that his wife from is from is not mentioning it so according to the women on the view they did not find it funny they um according to them also they talk about the gaza and israelis war that if president trump win it will be more chaotic but president biden and I have been struggling we all know they're talking about the ceasefire so president biden have been trying to do many things and he's trying to work um to see what they can do but they are um, president donald trump is the one that according to them who don't want need <coughs> who want need to to go out and he want to scatter NATO. don't want no more NATO. he wants a um, you want, um he's making friends with all dictators he's thinking that those dictators will come and help him and give him money which not that's how the world is functioning there's no money for him anything and Jebea just went off i was talking about president donald trump and the women in the views all of them have different opinion about president donald trump they at the end you come and see who pew pew was trying to tell the people that there is nothing to even judge everyone has seen what president donald trump is doing and talking about gaza the other day um they have a host from gaza who is giving food to gaza some people died and that were cooking for him a lot is happening people are losing their family people are losing their loved one talking about that in michigan more people are voting for people are voting most of them mostly are voting for president Biden because they have seen the chaos that is happening and no one wants to go through that way and actually the voters are very i would say confused or what some of them are not very stable so actually what do you really think who do you think is going to win the vote do you think that they should make a choice between president donald trump and between president biden what do you think do you think that when president biden president donald trump is giving another chance he might become better or do you think that president biden is just there and somebody else is ruling as the people are saying that because he's no more functioning it means other people are the one giving him ideas so what to say actually what do you really think about all this who do you think will win the election 2024 let me see your own um your own opinion on the comment section thank you very much for watching if you have not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video god bless you